Right then, today we're looking at a Samuel Solar River grid inverter. It's a 2300TL. So it's about a 2 kilowatt in grid inverter. Now on these the display is very similar but not identical to the Eversolar. And um, it's quite good. I quite like it. I've been running one of these for oh probably a year now. I think it's got six panels on it. So it's not been run very hard, but it just ticks over. Very nice. Not a fuss. Anyway, this one came my way in a pile of other inverters, and it I thought, oh it's alright. Put it on the test gear, as you've seen in some of the other videos, and it seemed all right. Half an hour later, it was dropping out, and then starting up again, disconnecting, reconnecting. And I thought, this is very familiar. Let's have the top off. Now on these ones, the screws are down the side, either side. And interestingly enough, when you put this back on, you have to put a clamp, a piece of wood here, and a clamp, and squeeze this front in to get the screw holes to line up. If you can't, you end up, if you don't do that, you end up uh, cross-threading all the screws. Put a piece of wood there and a G-clamp, and just pull that in, and it's easy. So anyway, let's have the top off. I've actually been experimenting with this one, but let's see. What I'd like to do is get in real close, but whether or not the camera will do that, and if it doesn't, then we'll just have to uh, use an example. So here's the inverter. There is the DC in. This one's broken but I think I've got another one. There's the AC connection and it's got a strange plug so we're going to get rid of that. And then coming along here, let's zoom in. There are the relays. One's got the top off it already. I'm just going to move the camera. So just there is the AC fuse. Oh, you notice I've taken the plastic cover off this one, but this relay here, all I did was I just levered like that, just gently, and the top came off. And there's a little depression there either side, and a barb on the base. So they're not too difficult to get off. Hopefully we're uh, in there close enough. This is the moving contact and it's pulled back by this spring. So what we need to do is just hook the spring off, just like that. And it's a real fine spring so you've got to be careful, you don't want to lose that. Okay, so then hopefully you can see this. You could then very gently lift this whole thing out like that. And the contacts look fine. I cleaned them up a bit but they looked really quite alright. So it wasn't burnt contacts that was uh, causing the problem. So we had to look further. So because the contacts were clean, what I worked out was, if you can see that contact there and that contact there, they were pushed backwards this way a bit. And there is the centre of the electromagnet, the solenoid. So I think that this, this contact plate here was butting up against those before they were pulling the contacts together hard 
So what I did was I put a screwdriver in there, if I can see what I'm doing. Put a screwdriver in there and just ease those forward a bit. So they were in front of that line of there, of this steel centre. And then when I put it back together, it all worked perfectly. It struck up and worked and I've been running it for two days on one of my sets of panels without any fuss at all. So it was just down to a simple problem of probably a manufacturing problem. The contacts are big enough. You're not like those Mickey Mouse contacts in that Eversolar. These are big contacts and they move quite a long way but it wasn't quite making a good enough contact. It was allowing it to maybe vibrate or something like that. And then occasionally it would just drop out. So I did that with that one and the same with this one. Popped it back together and away we go. So this is just a very quick video on looking what you've got. So I fixed that. I wired the, that mains cable in direct and I fixed that uh, negative MC4 connector and put the top on. Now we want a clamp. So the bottom of the clamp goes on the heat sink. Put a piece of wood there to spread the load. And that just pushes those down. And then the screws go in easy. Okay. Let's get rid of that block that's been holding it all, all up at the angle so you can see now as you can probably see or you might do the screws are in not in line and now they are So if you've been struggling to get one of these tops back on, that's why. <laughs>